and this is Katna here in this video we are going to see a problem from mathematical induction so let's get started problem using the principle of mathematical induction prove that n into n plus 1 into n plus 5 is a multiple of 3 for all n belongs to natural numbers solution let the given statement be P of n, then P of n such that n into n plus 1 into n plus 5. So, here we are asked to prove that the given statement is a multiple of 3 for all n belongs to natural numbers, right? Multiple of 3. Is nothing but 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9 and so on, right? We can say that 3 times m is a multiple of 3, that is 3 and 6. For m equals to 1, 2, 3 and so on, all the natural numbers. Since we are given n belongs to natural numbers, n contains 1, 2, 3 and so on, right? Fine. When n equals to 1, so here we have to show that the given statement is true for n equals to 1. If you want, you can check for n equals to 2, 3 and so on. And... We'll assume that the given statement is true for n equals to k and finally we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay, fine. Let's see for n equals to 1. When n equals to 1, put n equals to 1 in the given statement. 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 5 equals to 1 into 1 plus 1, 2 into 1 plus 5, 6. 2, 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12, right? So this is 12 is a multiple of 3. Which is a multiple of 3. Okay, let's check for n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, simply substitute n equals to 2 in the given statement. 2 into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 5 equals to 2 into 2 plus 1, 3 into 2 plus 5, 7. 2, 3 is a 6 into 7. 42. 6 times a 42. 3 1s are 3, 1, 3 4s are 12. Again, 3 times 14 is 42, which is again a multiple of 3. Multiple of 3. Okay, likewise we can check for n equals to 3, 4, 5 and so on. Now, let's assume that the given statement is true for n equals to k. Assume that p of n is true for some k belongs to natural numbers. Then, P of K such that K into K plus 1 into K plus 5 is a multiple of 3. Okay? Okay, I forgot to write. It's a multiple of 3. Fine. 
Now, we need to prove the given statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. So, let's take the statement for k plus 1, k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 5 is equals to k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2 into k plus 1 plus 5 is k plus 1 plus 5, 6. Okay, so you have k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 6. We can write this as k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 6. This is equals to k times k plus 1 into k plus 2. Plus 6 times k plus 1 into k plus 2. This equals to k into k plus 1. You can write this k plus 2 as k plus 5 minus 3. Since you are having k plus 5 here. Okay, in the given statement. Okay, you are having k plus 5. In P of k, I can say. So, we will split this two as plus 5 minus 3. We'll be using it, okay? For that purpose, we are splitting this 2 as 5 plus 3. So 6 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Which is equals to k into k plus 1 into take k plus 5 as 1 number minus 3 plus 6 times k plus 1 into k plus 2. Okay? This equals to k plus 5 times k into k plus 1. So, I'll get k into k plus 1 into k plus 5 minus 3 times k into k plus 1. Minus 3 into k into k plus 1 plus 6 into k plus 1 into k plus 2. Since P of K is true, since P of K is true, that is we have K into K plus 1 into K plus 5 is a multiple of 3. That is, you can replace this by 3 times a number which belongs to n natural numbers. Okay. So you can write this as simply replace this k into k plus 1 into k plus 5 by 3 times m. That is multiple of 3. Okay. 3n and write the remaining two terms as it is. Minus 3 times k plus sorry k into k plus 1 plus 6 times k plus 1 into k plus 2. Okay. 
Okay, so you are having 3k into k plus 1. Take minus 3k into second term and third term. Which is equals to minus 3k into k is minus 3k square. Minus into plus minus 3k into 1 3k plus 6 into k into k k square plus k into 2 2 k plus 1 into k k plus 2 into 1 2 equals to Minus 3k square minus 3k plus 6k square plus 6 to the 12k plus 6k plus 6 to the 12. 6k square minus 3k square is 3k square. Minus 3k plus 6k is plus 3k plus 12k plus 12. Now take 3 common from these two terms or 3k common. Take 3k common from the first two terms you will get 3k into k plus 1, 3k into k is 3k square plus 3k into 1 is 3k plus. Take 12 common from the next two terms, you will get 12 times k plus 1, 12 times k plus 1. So, here you are having k plus 1 common in these two terms, right? So, take k plus 1 common. If you take k plus 1 common, you will get k plus 1 into 3k plus 12. Which is equals to k plus 1 into... Now, take 3 common from these two terms. You will get 3 times k plus 3 fourths. 12. Okay. So you can write this as 3 into k plus 1 into k plus 4. Right. 3 times that is multiple of 3. 3 times k plus 1 into k plus 4 in the sense multiple of 3. So now, you can replace the second term and third term by 3 times k plus 1 into k plus 4. So this becomes 3m plus 3 times, we are just replacing this by 3 times k plus 1 into k plus 4, which is a multiple of 3. Now take 3 common from these two terms, you will get 3 times m plus k plus 1 into k plus 4. Again, 3 times some number, okay? 3 times a number plus number into number, fine? So here, you are having multiple of 3, okay? Which is a multiple of 3. It shows that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, P of k plus 1 such that 
k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 5 is equals to 3 times m plus k plus 1 into k plus 4 which is a multiple or 3. So this shows that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1. Okay. Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to k plus 1. Therefore, P of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Thus, P of 1 is true and P of k plus 1 is true whenever P of k is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, given statement that is P of N is true for all N belongs to natural numbers. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from mathematical induction in this video. This is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.